Hello, it's me, Joe, again, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to play the Texas Shuffle. Well, that's what I know it as anyway. Some people might say it's called something else. It's a two-handed shuffle. It's what I learned from listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan albums, and I know it as a Texas Shuffle. It's what Chris Layton does very well and Doyle Brammel, people like that. They used to do it in the olden days as well. Two hands playing a shuffle. So let's get to it. The first thing you need to be able to do is play a shuffle, obviously. And uh, if you're a right-handed drummer, you're going to play it with the right hand. And we're going to play it on the ride cymbal like this. Play a nice fluid shuffle. Uh, some say the Texas shuffle is played with a kind of staccato feel to it, like this. And so a regular rounder feeling shuffle. Isn't really a Texas shuffle, but I don't know. Next, we're going to play the same shuffle with the left hand on the snare as well. Play the snare nice and lightly. And listen carefully to make sure that both hands are playing at the same time. Now we're going to accent the snare on the two and four. Two, four, one, two, three, four. to line up nicely. Three or four, a one or two, a three or four, a one or two, a three. Staccato. Round and legato. If you can tell the difference with this digital abomination. Once you're feeling comfortable with this, get your left foot on to a four. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a Four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two. Four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Ah. And that's it, really. That's your Texas shuffle or two-handed shuffle or double-handed shuffle. I don't know, um, but that's how you play that. OK, uh, when you're getting used to this at first, I would actually spend a good amount of time playing just the hands together and learning how to play the accent on the snare drum without accenting the right hand, without accenting the right. You don't want to be doing this. Can't really hear an accent on that cymbal anyway. get the bass and when you're doing that make sure you're listening carefully the bass is nice and even or maybe you want to accent the bass a little bit on the two and four not a bad idea ah ah gives it a kind of forward momentum hi-hat comes in Play a splash. It's a miracle when that works on this thing. So, uh, work on that until you can play along to, say, Stevie Ray's Pride and Joy or Life by the Drop by Doyle Bramall. Uh, and again, a bunch of old songs I can't <laughs> name at the moment. And, uh, that's that. I'm going to follow this up with some ideas of variations and little licks you could do with the left hand. So there you go, Texas Shuffle, and I'll go away and practice. <laughs>